Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you are all doing great. In today's video, I'm going to perform a simple uh, exercise where I will show you how ownership of a startup changes when our convertible notes convert into equity during a pricing round. So for that, I've taken a simple example where the existing uh, cap table, uh, in the existing cap table, we have uh, around 1 million shares for the founders, a convertible note and eShop. So series A is going to invest and we're going to See post investment the total number of shares for each of the security holder and the change in the ownership. So uh, typically uh, for uh, a convertible notes the interest rate ranges from 2% to 8% and the maturity date typically set at uh, 18 to 24 months uh, after the note is purchased. When a maturity date is reached one of the three things happen. Uh, a, the founder must pay back uh, convertible note investor the value of note plus interest. Founder may negotiate a new maturity date or the value of note is converted into preferred round. But in case if a conversion event triggers which is generally a pricing round then uh, they convert into uh, preferred shares. Now a convertible note uh, converts in three ways. Uh, Pre-money method which is best for founders. A percentage ownership method which is uh, best for uh, investors and dollar invested method which is good for both founder and investor. Uh, for this exercise uh, I am going to concentrate on the pre-money method. So let's first calculate the value of eShop. To do that we have to calculate the post-money value. Now what will be the value of convertible notes? Convertible note holder has two options. Either they can opt for a discount rate or valuation gap. For convertible note holder to decide, let's calculate uh, which one is more beneficial. Okay, let's calculate the value of convertible note on the basis of discount approach. So the formula is what is the convertible note principal plus accrued interest that is 1 million uh, divided by 1 minus the discount rate. Uh, discount rate in our case is 25%. So this is the value of convertible node on the basis of discount approach. Now let's calculate the value of uh, convertible node on the basis of valuation cap approach. So the formula is what is the uh, total principal plus accrued multiply by pre money valuation which is 10 million divided by the valuation cap which is 6 million. Okay, if I am the holder of uh, this convertible note, then I will go for valuation cap approach because it is giving me a higher value. We have the value of convertible note 1.66 million. We know the uh, series A investment that is 3 million. We know the pre-money valuation of the company that is 10 million. So the post money valuation of the company is addition of all three the post money valuation of the company. Now let's calculate the value of eShop. So that would be 10% of the post money value which is 1.466 million. Now since we know the value of eShop, let's calculate what is the effective pre money valuation. So effective pre money valuation is pre money valuation minus the value of eShop. The effective pre money valuation. Now let's calculate the value per share. Value per share is effective pre money valuation divided by total number of outstanding shares that is 1 million. So this is our value per share. Now let's see how many shares have been allocated to series A. So that would be uh, the investment of series a that is 3 million divided by the price. Okay. So we have number of shares for series A. So I'll link this to number of shares. Now let's calculate number of shares for convertible note. Earlier we saw that uh, among discount rate uh, and valuation cap option, valuation cap which is uh, higher value. So we'll calculate the total number of uh, shares on the basis of uh, valuation cap approach. So let's first see what shall be the per share price for the convertible note holder. Okay, the formula is uh, again your uh, valuation cap divided by the pre money valuation. 
and over here what we'll do is we'll multiply by value per share in order to arrive the price of the convertible note that is 5.12 the number of shares for CN is simply the total value which is the convertible note principal plus accrued interest divided by the price this is the number of shares Again, I'll link it to this one. Now, what, le what left is the ESOP. So, we know that the total value for uh, ESOP is around 1.47 uh, 1, 1 million divided by the price. So, they will uh, the value will be equal to the per share value that is 8.5. This is the number of shares and this is how the ownership looks like post investment. So this brings us to the end of the video. I hope uh, as always you had a great learning and I see you the next week. Thank you so much.